a significant development is on the horizon for the upcoming Starship orbital flight attempt. NASA of the 20th century. Yes, that is the most powerful aerospace agency we have ever known. The one that helped humanity touch the moon for the first time in 1969. However, at this very moment, NASA is only a shadow of its former self. The moon, a place they once reached, has now become a more challenging target for. Once again, NASA's Artemis mission is potentially facing delays until 2027 instead of the previous outline schedule 2025. According to recent information disclosed by the United States Government Accountability Office, or GAO. And this is not the first time the Artemis program has been reminded by GAO as they have previously criticized NASA's organizational system management and the cost of the billion-dollar SLS rocket. Even this time, they blame SpaceX and Axiom as major of vulnerabilities and long-term challenges for Artemis. So, is it really SpaceX and Axiom that are causing delays for Artemis? Will NASA decide to postpone the Artemis mission for a few more years? The reason find out here. So watch till the end stay tuned as we dive into this episode. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. S NASA's ambitious Artemis program gave a shot in the arm for space exploration with its mission to put humans back on the moon. But now, it seems like the space agency's Artemis 3 mission, which will land astronauts on the moon, will not happen at least until 2027. A new report warns of significant delays to the Artemis 3 mission. The result of two key contractors, SpaceX and Axiom Space, not being able to deliver the goods on time. The latest GAO report published November 30 highlights major hurdles in the development of key components for NASA's Artemis 3 mission, including SpaceX's lunar lander and Axiom Space's moon suits. Delays, technical challenges, and an ambitious schedule may lead to a significant postponement of the mission potentially impacting NASA's lunar exploration timeline, the GAO warned. Should these challenges persist, and if these projects adhere to previous NASA development timelines, the Artemis 3 mission is unlikely to happen before 2027, according to the report. This would result in a considerable gap between missions. As Artemis 2, a crewed journey around the moon, is scheduled for November 2024. The delay would also likely push back subsequent Artemis missions, with Artemis IV currently planned for 2028, followed by Artemis V through 7, expected to transpire annually, starting in 2029. SpaceX is developing Starship, the upper stage of which will serve as the human landing system for Artemis III, transporting two astronauts to the lunar surface for a one-week stay. This contract, signed in 2021, is worth $2.9 billion. A second SpaceX contract for a second lander was signed in 2022, worth $1.15 billion. However, undoubtedly, the monumental task of sending a starship to the moon demands meticulous planning, especially when considering the critical necessity of refueling it in low Earth orbit. This pivotal step involves the robotic transfer of massive quantities of super-cold cryogenic propellants, a process facilitated by multiple starship tankers, purpose-built for this mission. SpaceX is actively engaged in advancing its on-orbit propellant storage and transfer technology, constituting crucial technical work integral to the success of the human landing system. The HLS program underscores that such propellant storage and transfer technologies have not previously been integrated into a propulsion system of this magnitude, indicating the pioneering nature of this venture. Numerous key systems are integral to the propellant transfer capability intended for the human landing system. These include highly sophisticated docking sensors and mechanisms pivotal for identifying, locating and aligning the HLS Starship and the Tanker Starship for seamless fluid transfer. Additionally, the systems encompass propellant measurement technologies to accurately gauge the volume of propellant in the tanks and track the amount transfer. Equally crucial is the storage capability, strategically designed to mitigate potential fuel loss in the expanse of space. SpaceX is diligently preparing for the in-space propellant storage and transfer test a pivotal phase aimed at further refining and advancing this cutting-edge technology. While the foundational propellant transfer technology is an entirely novel or unprecedented, it necessitates considerable engineering effort and developmental focus to achieve comprehensive design and rigorous testing, ensuring its seamless integration into the Artemis III mission. Furthermore, the GAO report highlights delays in testing the revolutionary mega-rocket, which could result in cascading schedule setbacks. The report points to a significant amount of complicated work that remains undone, leading to the grim conclusion that the first crewed lunar landing since the Apollo 17 mission in 1972. 
is unlikely to happen within the 2025 target. As the GAO points out, SpaceX's goal of developing and launching in 79 months, 13 months quicker than NASA's average project timeline presents a formidable challenge given the complexity of human spaceflight. If the project adheres to the typical NASA timeline, Artemis 3 is more likely to take place in early 2027, as opposed to the current and overly optimistic schedule, the GAO concluded. The GAO says that as of September 2023, Starship experienced delays in eight of 13 key milestone events, with each setback adding several months to the overall schedule. Starship's inaugural flight test, which happened on April 20, was itself delayed by seven months. Due to issues of the launch pad, such as the lack of protective infrastructure and in-flight irregularities, namely a malfunctioning self-destruct sequence, the two-stage rocket faced a considerable delay, with SpaceX finally conducting its second launch November 18. The latest report from the GAO released this week does not include the second test in its evaluation. However, it's unlikely that including this test would have changed any of the report's conclusions. A considerable amount of complex Starship-related work still needs to be done in advance of Artemis 3, including developing the ability to store and transfer propellant while on orbit. As a critical aspect of SpaceX's plan for landing astronauts on the moon for Artemis 3, is launching multiple tankers that will transfer propellant to a depot in space before transferring that propellant to the human landing system, the report stated. At the same time, and as the GAO points out, NASA has noted limited progress in developing the necessary technologies for this aspect of the plan. To be honest, the GAO's analysis is entirely justified. We can't refute that. The fact that they have four more spacecraft and booster rockets nearly ready to operate but have only launched twice this year shows the strict regulations of some government agencies have slowed them down to some extent. Furthermore, considering the delays, NASA's moon rocket, the Space Launch System SLS, backed by substantial funding and an established development plan still grapples with frustrating setbacks and numerous technical issues. Originally planned for late 2016, the uncrewed first flight of SLS slipped more than 26 times in almost six years. In general, the costly SLS of America's leading aviation agency has to endure such delays, let alone a larger, more powerful rocket owned by a private company. On the other hand, Perhaps 2027 or even 2030 seems like a more realistic time frame than we think. Taking a few people to the moon within a few days at a cost of billions is one thing. Owning dreamlike spaceships, capable of transporting cargo and crews anywhere within the solar system with the ability to refuel. An orbit mass produced at spaceports as if they were cargo ships is another. The year 2027 might be truly fantastic regular access in an airplane-like fashion not only to lower orbit but also to the moon via giant shuttles that can be reused and refueled in orbit. During a recent NASA presentation, Lakeisha Hawkins, NASA's Assistant Deputy Associate Administrator shared exciting news indicating that SpaceX is planning a propellant transfer. Demo is part of their third Starship test. This demo is tied to SpaceX's $53 million tipping point award from 2020 designated for transferring 10 tons of liquid oxygen between a Starship's header and main tank. NASA initially described this award as a large-scale flight demonstration for cryogenic propellant transfer on a Starship vehicle. Engineers from both NASA and SpaceX are collaborating intensely, examining critical aspects such as ULIC, tank stability, slash dynamics, fluid transfer procedures, guidance systems, and ship stability. According to Watson Morgan, SpaceX's development of Ship 25 and Booster 9 involves joint analysis and independent assessments provided to SpaceX by NASA experts. The propellant transfer demonstration anticipated next year marks a pivotal milestone in system maturation. This moment becomes particularly significant for the human landing system as it involves crucial foundational steps that have never been successfully executed in orbit. Insights gained from the propellant transfer demonstration are expected to address lingering queries about the Starship lander, especially concerning the number of tanker launches necessary for an Artemis landing mission. Watson Morgan emphasized the importance of the situations. These data will be pivotal in shaping the strategy for Artemis missions. While the exact number of Starship tanker flights for a single Artemis mission remains tentative, Watson Morgan suggested it could range from the high single digits to the low double digits. Elon Musk has hinted at potential design enhancements for Starship, possibly featuring larger propellant tanks, which might streamline the need for numerous tanker flights. However, SpaceX remains vigilant, acknowledging that unforeseen challenges during spaceflight testing, 
particularly concerning the docking hardware, might mandate significant vehicle modifications, potentially leading to mission delays. To the discerning eye, a lone starship offers performance on par with SpaceX's formidable Falcon Heavy when maneuvering through high Earth orbits. Yet the true revolution lies in mastering rapid reusability and orbital refueling. Even with moderate refueling, Starship's performance potential catapulted leaks ahead of existing and envisioned rockets. Given full refueling in low Earth orbit, or LEO for short, Starship's capabilities skyrocket, enabling the delivery of dozens to over a hundred tons of cargo and passengers to the Red Martian surface. Moreover, with refueling in high Earth orbit, Starship emerges as a robust transporter, capable of landing hundreds of tons of Earth's moon and launching cargo and spacecraft across the solar system in remarkably short time frames. Meanwhile, Europe's space industry faces a remarkable shift as Avio's Vega rocket confronts a substantial setback, leaving them devoid of any operational launch vehicles. Two of the necessary tanks vital for powering the fourth stage of Vega's final flight vanished several months ago, prompting Avio to seek an alternative solution urgently. The Vega AVUM fourth stage, or should I say AVUM, standing at 1.74 meters tall with a diameter of 1.9 meters is outfitted with the Ukrainian RD-869 UDMH-NTO liquid-fueled engine and its propellant is distributed across four spherical tanks. According to sources from European Spaceflight, it was disclosed in early October that two of the critical propellant tanks for the final Vega flight had disappeared. Last week, a separate source independently verified this account. Scheduled for launch in the first half of 2024, this flight aims to deploy the European Space Agency's Biomass Earth Observation Satellite into orbit. Establishing a long-term base on the Moon, mining and utilizing resources from a celestial body, perhaps coinciding with the mass production of the first in-orbit and return pharmaceuticals, 3D printed organs and fiber optics. We will reach a psychological threshold where people no longer see Earth as the center of the universe. There will be a level of skepticism about the concept of a large-scale sediment or resource harvesting in space because costs will decrease and investments will flow in. After that, our arrival at small asteroids and planets near Earth or even Mars will just be a matter of time. In addition to outlining the tasks for SpaceX, the GAO also brings attention to another crucial factor contributing significantly to the potential delays for the Moon mission, the Moon Suit. Axiom Space, responsible for developing Artemis III Moon Suits also faces design challenges, specifically the absence of an emergency life support system in NASA's original design for the Artemis III mission. NASA provided Axiom with its design plans, but the initial design lacked the necessary minimum emergency life support required for the Artemis III mission. As the GAO report warns, Axiom may need to rearrange parts of the suit to accommodate a larger oxygen tank. However, if that proves unfeasible, a complete redesign might be necessary potentially causing delays in its delivery for the mission. Under the $228.5 million contract signed in 2022, Axiom is tasked with designing, building and testing the spacesuits. At Artemis 3 If NASA officially postponed the launch date of Artemis 3 to 2027, it would be more than a year earlier than the initial goal of 2028. The Trump administration in 2019 set the timeline for 2024. A target NASA eventually pushed beyond the current estimated launch in December 2025. However, even as NASA adapts to working with various private contractors who often present overly optimistic timelines, NASA must approach these forecasts with a healthy dose of skepticism and adjusted schedules accordingly. Sure, this approach may give the impression of slow progress, but it's a realistic response to the complexities of such projects. Should public impatience arise, NASA could rightly point to constraints like congressional underfunding. Ultimately, ambitious technological endeavors typically entail significant delays in development, a fact that both NASA and its partners seem reticent to accept. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in and that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And if you want to support our channel and if you want to be up to date, you can become an exclusive member so click on our perks through the link the description below thanks to watching and see you next time